Azam Series 7000 CO2 and Headspace air piercing device is used to test beverage or product for CO2 gas and air content in either glass or PET containers and cans. To operate, put approximately 100 cc of water in the level bottle. Close the whitey valve. Open the burette cock. Elevate the level bottle above the burette to allow water to run down into the burette to the bottom of the calibrations. Close the burette cock and lower the level bottle. Place a small beaker of water under the rubber seal and lower the crossbar to submerge the rubber seal in the water. Open the whitey valve. This will cause the water to be drawn upward through the whitey valve, displacing any trapped air in the system. Tap the amber latex tubing to release trapped air. Close the whitey valve and remove the beaker from the piercing needle. Open the burette cock and allow the water to return to the level bottle Close the burette cock and discard. Replace the water in the level bottle with caustic solution. Raise the level bottle to fill the burette completely and open the burette cock. Close the burette cock. To prevent overflow, can lower the level bottle. Place the bottle or can to be tested on the base pad and lower the crossbar to the point where the rubber seal just touches the top of the container. Depress the lock plates and push the crossbar rapidly downwards until the container is pierced. Hold the instrument at the bottom of the base with the right hand, while the left hand holds both the guide rod and the burette support rod. Carefully shake the instrument with a rapid back and forth motion until maximum gauge pressure has been obtained. To test the CO2 volume, record the pressure and insert the dial thermometer down into the container to its fullest extent. When the reading is steady, record the temperature. Refer to the solubility of carbon dioxide in beer chart with your temperature and pressure readings to determine the volumes of CO2 gas present in the sample being tested. Withdraw the dial thermometer to the thermometer stop. To perform the air test, open the whitey valve and allow gas to flow into the burette, reducing the gauge pressure to 5 psi or less. Close the whitey valve. Shake the instrument a few times to allow absorption of CO2 gas by the caustic solution. Invert the instrument and allow the gas that was released into the burette to be absorbed in the larger bottom bulb of the burette. Open the whitey valve and repeat the process again. For very accurate work, the operation should be continued until a constant air reading is obtained. When making the air reading on the burette, the level bottle should be raised to bring the liquid in the burette and level bottle to the same level. Bleed off any remaining pressure in the container through the whitey valve. Depress the lock plates and raise the crossbar to a level that will allow removal of the container. To clean the instrument, empty the level bottle, close the whitey valve and open the burette cock, allowing the caustic solution to drain into the level bottle.
discard the caustic solution. Fill the instrument with warm water and allow the burette to drain. Repeat several times until all traces of caustic solution have been drained from the burette and fittings. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on our Zom and Nagel product lines. And be sure to visit ZomNagel.com for more valuable information.